An area high school community is in mourning tonight after the death of a popular high school student athlete who started having trouble breathing during ice hockey practice. News 5's John Kosick live in Cleveland Heights tonight. John, this is a sad story. No question about it, Danita. 17-year-old Alec Cornette died early this morning at Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital. He was practicing here at the Cleveland Heights Rec Center last night with the Brush High School ice hockey team when he started having trouble breathing. The Cleveland Heights firefighters tell me they had seven paramedics work to get him to the hospital, his death leaving so many in shock. The gray skies over Brush High School, symbolic of the feeling inside as the South Euclid Lynnhurst community comes to grips with the loss of 17-year-old Alec Cornett. Alec died after having trouble breathing during hockey practice Monday at the Cleveland Heights Rec Center. Counselors were on hand at Brush to help Alec's classmates deal with the sudden death of this high school junior, who was by all accounts the quintessential high school student, honor student, band, along with hockey, soccer, and baseball. Baseball. His social media pages filled not with selfies, but rather examples of his devotion to the sport. A batting practice video with the caption, I train to rain. Another post, love putting in the work when no one's looking. His Twitter profile and cover pics a tribute to the Indians. And his last post on Twitter late Monday night talked of watching the Major League Baseball Network and getting into the baseball feeling. The online condolences this day, including those from the family inside Brush High School, to the extended one made up of the other schools and teams he has faced over the years, even the Cleveland Monsters reaching out to the Brush Hockey and Cornette families, all touched by the loss of this team taken too soon and the hole felt in the lives of all those who knew him. Alex's family, as you can imagine, in shock tonight, asking for their privacy, that which we respected. The Cleveland Heights Fire Department telling me there was no indication of any incident leading up to his medical emergency. Reporting live in Cleveland Heights, John Kasich, News 5. Prayers go out to that family tonight. All